Welcome back to Joe Stun Unboxing. One thing about the uh, Fabio Wardley Fraser Clark fight that people don't seem to be recognising is that uh, it's how much the the stock of both men has risen thanks to that fantastic fight. And yes, you can talk about um, the fact that it was very well matched, which is absolutely true. Um, the fact that both guys stepped up a level to face each other, absolutely true. The fact that it was for the British and Commonwealth titles, absolutely true. But the one thing a lot of people haven't mentioned, or most people haven't mentioned, is that it's on free TV. Well, I say free TV. I mean, you've got to subscribe to Sky. But the point is, what do I really mean by that? It's not pay-per-view. Okay, now, what you've got, just to reiterate, you've got a fight between two domestic-level guys who have pretensions to rise to, certainly through European level, possibly the world level. Uh, they're fighting for the British and Commonwealth titles. It's not even for the EBU title. It's not. It's certainly not for a, a world title. But they're two British guys who fought each other to a standstill for the British title and the Commonwealth title. And they did themselves proud. And the atmosphere was fantastic. And the event was, was you know, magnificent. And so even though it was a draw and no guy technically won, they both rose and they both shot through the roof. I mean, just think about it. You know, what is that? If it had been tucked away on pay-per-view, or maybe on the undercut of a pay-per-view thing, where they might have even got more money, would anyone be, be paying attention to it? Well, the hardcore boxing fans probably would, but the casuals wouldn't. And the average person that, you know, dips their toes in and out of the boxing waters, they wouldn't probably be paying as much attention to it. But because it was on free to air, free to air telly, that is to say, you know, a big platform, which Sky Sky certainly is, a very, very big platform, uh, and that you, you did have to pay extra for it, you weren't being fleeced to the bone. Suddenly, these two guys, even though neither of them actually won, they've gone through the roof. Their, their status is, is enhanced vastly, and a lot more people are going to recognize them now. Now, also bear in mind that, um, that, you know, <laughs> if you think of the long game, if you think of fighters' careers, and I know that Fraser Clark's 32, which isn't that old for a heavyweight, but it's not young, and then you've got 28-year-old, I think he is, Fabio Wardley. Um, you could say, well, they've, you know, they, they, they've got to get the skates on. But if you're playing the long game, I think it, this is definitely uh, illustrative of what can happen if you um, – if you sort of face your opponents and maybe set up not just the one fight, but perhaps certainly a rematch, maybe even a trilogy so that your names become kind of entwined. And the fact is that more and more people will want to watch you and I'll say, oh, yeah, Fraser Clark. Oh, yeah, Fabio Wardley. Isn't that great? You know, yeah, yeah. You know, what a fight they had. And oh, who are they fighting next? When are they fighting next? I want to watch them, you know. Um, I think this is fantastic. I think this is the way to do it. And, OK, ultimately, I suppose you could say, well, both of them would, would, wouldn't say no to a few pay-per-views further down the line. But you've got to become a pay-per-view star, even if you believe in the, the concept of pay-per-view, which I don't. You've, you've got to you've got to, uh, you know, you've got to rise to that uh, level to where people are prepared to put their hands in their pockets for extra, extra money. And this type of fight, again, even though it's too, un, you know, Two guys who are not that well, weren't originally that well thought of, were kind of sort of unknown. I mean, I know Wardley's been on the zone shows and everything. But the fact that they came together, they fought for a British and Commonwealth title, it's fantastic. It's fantastic for British boxing. It's fantastic for the British title. And think back to before they fought, you know, Wardley, even though, like I say, he'd been on the zone a few times, people had a question mark over his chin. Um, they weren't too sure about how resilient he was, um, could he do the 12-round distance. Certainly Fraser Clark had looked, you know, pretty uninspired in his eight fights before facing Wardley, bronze bronze medalist. I think I put a poll, a poll on my community page saying, um, this was a long time ago, saying how far do you think Fraser Clark can go? And most people were like, maybe British level. That perception would have changed now. I mean, they might say they might not say he would get to world level, but the point is, they've the respect that both men have has risen 
precisely because a lot of people saw them fight. And a lot of people would not have seen them fight had it been on a pay-per-view, had it been tucked away on an undercard or something. There's no way, of, well, I say that nowadays you never know, but I was going to say that British title fights aren't pay-per-view worthy, but I think Joshua Dillian White was. Was that on pay-per-view? Uh, nowadays, everything, they're, they're trying to gear everything towards, or most things towards being pay-per-view. And it's something that should be absolutely resisted if you care about want, wanting to actually see boxing live anyway. Um, but yeah, both guys seen by a lot of eyes. Both guys, the respect they've got now has massively improved. Who wouldn't want to see a rematch? Possibly who wouldn't want to see a third match, a trilogy? like the old days, Ali Frazier, and I know this is a few levels below, but you know what I mean? Or Mickey Ward, Gatti, or, you know. This is what we want to see, and I think that it kind of proves, this fight kind of proves that you don't need fake titles. You don't need any of those alphabet soup trinkets, fake European, WBO, WIBF, European level crap. No, 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 no. You, you need the good old-fashioned British and Commonwealth titles, reputable titles with great histories put yourself in the record books that way give a good account of yourself and the respect that you have amongst the public certainly the hardcore public and, and certainly the you know the broader public the, the, more, the casual public it will grow it will not grow if you're hidden away on some niche platform in other words pay-per-view you know you've got to actually get to that mountaintop and the only way you can do it is by free-to-air telly, by putting your name out there and by making sure in the, the maximum amount of people are watching you, then maybe you can, you know, like piss off to Saudi and do a pay-per-view or something. But those are just a few thoughts. Uh, comments below, as always. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Get all your mates to subscribe and hit the like button and, you know, do all that stuff. I'll catch you later. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.